in this lesson we are going to talk about some properties of union and intersection operation the first property is a union B equals B union A this is known as commutative law this law states that the union of two sets is the same no matter what the order is in the equation it is true for intersection 2 that means a intersection B equals B intersection A that means the intersection of two sets remain the same even after altering their position in the equation suppose A is a set of 1 2 3 4 B is a set of 3 4 5 6 then A union B is a set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and B union A is a set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means they are same if we take a intersection B then we get a set of 3 4 and B intersection A is also a set of 3 4 this is exactly what the commutative law says now we are going to talk about associative law the associative law says that if we take A union B then perform another union with C it will be exactly the same if we do union operation in between A and B union C for the intersection operation if we take A intersection B then perform another intersection with C it will be exactly the same if we do intersection operation in between A and B intersection C that means how the sets are grouped does not change the result of union and intersection suppose we have three sets A, B and C then a union B is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, A union B, union C is going to be the union between 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3, 4, 5, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let's see what we get after taking A union with the union of B and C. B union C is equal 2 3 4 union 3 4 5 it is equal to 2 3 4 5 then a union with B union C is the union of 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 5 which generates a set of 1 2 3 4 5 that means both of these are same now let's see what happens when we take intersection operation the a intersection B is an intersection operation between 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 so we have got a intersection B is a set of 2 3 then if we take A intersection B intersection C then we get intersection between set of 2 3 and 3 4 5 here the only common element is 3 therefore A intersection B intersection C is a set of 3 let's see what is A intersection with the intersection of B C B intersection C is intersection operation between set of 2 3 4 and set of 3 4 5 which is equal to set of 3 4 now 
If we do the intersection operation between A and intersection between BC, then we get intersection in between set of 1, 2, 3 and 3, 4. The only common element here is 3. Then A intersection, B intersection C is a set of 3. Therefore, these two are the same set. Now we will learn the distributive law. The distributive law says that a union with the intersection of BC is equal to intersection between A union B and A union C. Or a intersection with the union of BC is equal to union between A intersection B and A intersection C. Suppose A is a set of 1, 2, 3, B is a set of 2, 3, 4, and the elements of C are 3, 4, 5. Then B intersection C is intersection between set of 2, 3, 4 and set of 3, 4, 5, which is a set of 3, 4. Therefore, A union with the intersection of BC is the union between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 3, 4, which is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, a union B is a union operation between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 2, 3, 4, which is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4. And A union C is union operation between set of 1, 2, 3 and 3, 4, 5, which is actually set of 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5. Then, intersection between A union B and A union C is intersection operation between set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4. That means these two are the same. Let's examine this relation. Here, B union C is a union operation between a set of 2, 3, 4 and 3, 4, 5, which generates a set of 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, A intersection operation with B Union C is going to be the intersection operation between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a set of 2, 3. Now, A intersection B is intersection operation between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 2, 3, 4 which generates a set of 2, 3. And A intersection C is an intersection operation between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 3, 4, 5. It generates a set of 3 because only 3 is common here. So the union between A intersection B and A intersection C is an union operation between set of 2, 3 and a set of 3. It generates a set of 2, 3. Therefore, these two are the same. The next property says A union empty set is A and a intersection empty set is empty set. Suppose A is a set of 1, 2, 3. Then A union empty set is 
an union operation between set of 1, 2, 3 and empty set which equals a set of 1, 2, 3 and empty set is exactly a set of 1, 2, 3 that means A. We know that empty set is an element of every set that means A is a set of 1, 2, 3 which implies A is a set of 1, 2, 3 and empty set. Then if we take the intersection between 1, 2, 3 empty set and empty set, this empty set is common in both of the sets. That is why the result will be an empty set. The next property says a union universal set is a universal set. This is obvious because universal set is a set of everything. That means A is simply a subset of universal set. In Venn diagram, if this is U, then this is A. That is why taking A union universal set give us the universal set. The next law is idempotent law. It states that if union or intersection operation is performed with the set itself, then the result remains the same. Suppose we have a set A and the elements are 1, 2, 3. Then according to idempotent law, A union A is A and A intersection A is A. If we take the union operation in between a set of 1, 2, 3 and a set of 1, 2, 3, obviously the output will be 1, 2, 3 because in set we do not repeat the element. On the other hand, if we take the intersection operation, in both of the sets, the common elements are 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the result will be a set of 1, 2, 3. Alright, that's all for this lesson and I'll see you all in the next lesson.